Hi, this is Ikaru Fei from Spectro Audio, and this is the overview video for the new CV2K 2.7 update. This new update includes a new virtual module, support for another expert sleepers module, Hertz Volt calibration, new layouts features, and many other new features and improvements. We've developed a new module called Buffer, which will be included in the CV2 Kit Factory module pack. As the name implies, Buffer is a module that can record and playback audio and CV signals. You can use it to record complex modulation signals, audio signals coming from your modular synth via the input module, or even playback audio samples that you may have in your sample collection. To record signals into the module, switch to record mode, make sure that a signal is routed to the buffer's record input, and set the length of the buffer to the desired number of bars. To start recording, simply start CV2Kit's transport. You can also change the playback rate and set the start and end points by clicking and dragging on the buffer's waveform. After switching back to playback mode, you have the option to playback the content of the buffer by either triggering it via the gate bus as a one-shot sample, looping it, or controlling it via the control CV mode. The control CV mode lets you scan through the buffer's content using another CV signal such as an LFO or an envelope. You can also import audio samples by dragging an audio file into the buffer module. CV2Kit is now compatible with the Expert Sleepers ES5 module. You can combine the ES5 with an ES3 or ES8 to get additional gate outputs from CV2Kit. The ES5 implementation works as follows. Channels 1 through 4 work as dedicated outputs for the internal gate bus channels. Channel 5 outputs a 16th node clock that can be used to drive external sequencer modules. Channel 6 outputs a trigger every bar that can be used to reset these sequencers. Because the ES5 hijacks and disables the last two outputs of the ES3 and ES8, CV2Kit will convert signals routed to those last two outputs to gate signals and output them on the ES5's channels 7 and 8. You can now use CV2Kit in the notes module to calibrate oscillators that use the Hertz Vote standard such as the Korg MS20 and the Yamaha CS15. To use this new mode, simply go to the second layer of the notes module and select Hertz Vote as the calibration mode. The 2.7 update adds new features to the LFO and sequencer modules. The LFO module now features a phase parameter. You can use, for example, four LFOs in different phases to create a quadrature patch. The sequencer module now includes an output range parameter that can be used to attenuate the signals generated by the module. You can now import and export layouts as JSON files. This feature is useful for sharing and backing up the layouts that you've created in CV2Kit.
We've added three new themes for this update. Frozen, Cinema, and Flashy. CV2 Kit 2.7 also includes a new method for storing and recalling settings, as well as many other bug fixes and improvements. For more information about the 2.7 update, visit spectroaudio.com. As always, thanks for watching.